Hey everyone, so first off I'm going to prime her eyelids with the MAC Paint Chili Paint Pot and then I'm going to go into the Vitamin Infused Complexion Prep Spray from Urban Decay. That is a super long name. You can get that at Sephora. Then I'm going in with the NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk from Ulta and this is just going to help the eyeshadows that I put on top to stand out more and for it to have something to stick to. If you ever have an eyeshadow that you just want to pop, definitely put a white base underneath and that will help. I'm then going to take my ring finger to blend that all out just up until her crease. I'm not going to do it any higher because I still want to be able to blend out the crease shadows. I'm now taking the Stila in the Light palette which is on the Stila website for $20. I'm going to be taking the third shade in the top row as my blending shade. I am taking this on a crease brush and I'm putting this right above the white color. Using the white color kind of maps out the crease for us. So I'm going to be going back and forth into her crease, slightly building up this color. We are keeping this look very natural, so I don't want the crease to be very harsh or too dark. So I'm just going to be taking this color back and forth into her crease, kind of going in those little motions. And I'm picking up a little bit of the color at a time just to build up the color slightly. And then I'm going to be going into a flat shader brush. And I'm going into the first matte color in the palette. And this is going to be our brow highlight. I'm sorry I didn't get to show that color in the video. But it is the, there you go, that first matte color. And I'm placing this right underneath her brow bone as a matte highlight. Because we're doing shimmer all over her lid, I want to keep her brow bone very nice and matte. Then I'm going into the color Kitten by Stila Cosmetics. They do sell this eyeshadow separately if you are interested in that at Sephora and I believe Ulta as well. And I'm placing this right on top of that white shade and you're just going to see how much more that eyeshadow pops and how it's so much more pigmented. I'm then taking this brown toasted, it's kind of like a light brown shimmery color which is so pretty and I'm putting this on the other half of her eyelid just so there is a nice transition of color and it is not all a light bright pink color. I'm then taking this pointed crease brush from MAC Cosmetics. I love this brush for the crease and I'm going into the dark brown in this Stila palette and I'm really focusing this color right onto her outer crease creating an outer V shape. We don't want this to be so dark on her so I am building up the color slowly and I'm picking up a little bit at a time and what I love about this brush is that the ends of it are very pointed it's not too domed or not too tightly packed but it's really nice to slowly build up the intensity and as you can see I'm really keeping the darkness on the outer corners I'm then going in back with the original blending shade and I'm blending the outer corners of it I'm not blending the placement of the brown color that I put down but I'm blending the out outer edges of that. So I'm go just going to continue to do this on both eyes and then we will move on. Now I am going to be creating a small wings eyeliner for her. It's just going to be a little baby wing but just something to give a little shape to her eyes even though she already has a beautiful shape of her eyes. But this is just going to enhance it 
and I do have a tutorial coming soon on how I do winged eyeliner so be sure to subscribe so that way you guys don't miss out on that video and then we're going to be getting started onto her complexion so she has dry combination skin so the primer that I'm going to be using is going to help her a lot because she does have eczema on her face. So I'm going to be using the Cover FX Calming Primer which will help to calm her skin. It's kind of like a fire hydrant for your skin. And then I'm going to be using the Pixi Flawless Beauty Primer from Target. This does have a luminous glow to it so because she does have drier skin this is going to help her to have more of a dewy look. I am using the MAC Studio Fix Fluid just because it wears nicely on the skin and even though it leaves somewhat of a matte finish, I'm using it with a beauty blender to kind of dampen it and to give it more of a dewy finish than it being so dry on her skin. Now she did wear this on the day of the wedding and it fit perfectly on her skin. It did not enhance any of her dry spots or anything like that. It looked really great on her and on camera it looks really yellow but in person it did not look that yellow on her. I then am going in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer under her eyes to highlight her face down the center of her nose, her forehead. I love this concealer. I used it on her for the day of the wedding and it did not crease on her at all. So that is what I'm going to be doing with that. And then I'm going to be going into this Kat Von D Contour and Highlight Palette from Sephora, which I absolutely love. And I love that middle highlighting yellow shade. I absolutely love it. I just think it leaves such a perfect soft focus underneath the eyes. And it helps with the concealer not to crease. I then am going to set her foundation with the Makeup Forever HD Setting Powder, which is a really nice um, translucent powder, which I love to set with foundation. And there she is just loving to have some fun. I'm lightly dusting this over her face. Not a lot, just very light dusting of that. And then I'm going to be going into the Makeup Forever Pro Fusion Bronzer in number 30. Very lightly just dusting this over her skin in any areas where you would usually bronze. Now I'm going into this ColourPop blush, which I totally forgot the name of it, but I will list it in the description box below if you want to know what color it is. A super pretty blush. Um, it actually was very long wearing for us. Loved it, did not separate on the skin, just gave her a really nice, fresh color on her cheeks. Super easy to blend in. Love, love, love this blush. Now I'm taking a, an e.l.f. A stippling brush and we're just blending the bronzer blush together just so that there are no demarcation lines and everything just looks perfect and seamless. I then am taking this Becca highlighter in I believe Moonstone and I'm taking this and I'm go just going to be putting this right at, at the top of her cheekbones and then I'm going to be um, just blending that in with a e.l.f. A small stippling brush. And then I'm going to, just going to be taking the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray, which is just going to help to give her a more dewy look, so that way the foundation doesn't look so matte. And it will also help to um, set her makeup to last longer. I then am going in with this Bite Lip Pencil in the color Sable, which is such a pretty pink color on her, fits her complexion perfectly. And that is the end of this tutorial. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys all in my next video. Bye.
So right here I'm using a... <laughs> We're gonna be doing on her is a, um, a light bridesmaid makeup tutorial because she's gonna be standing up in a wedding. So we want to just do something light. Um, <laughs> really? Okay, wait, don't chew. Hold on. It's like... Where? Would you put it more off? Okay. Really, that hurts. 